Are you ready for an awesome new nerdy project? Because in this video, I'm going to show you how to custom paint a Rubik's Cube with Star Wars pictures on it. So the first thing I'm going to use are these Posca, Posca, guys, I have such a hard time with pronunciation, but they're these um, paint pens. I bought them at a surfboard store because I paint surfboards with them, but yeah, they come in thick tips as well as thin tips. Um, any paint pen will do, or actually just paint in a brush, but I found that the paint pens were very fun and easy to use for this project. The next thing I used was actually nail polish. And I actually used these squeeze nail polish pens just for easy application for actual drawing of the pictures. So you can use either paint or nail polish. I actually found that the nail polish worked really, really well. I also used it as a top coat in both matte and shiny. But you can take your pick, either all paint or all nail polish, or a combo of the both like me. You're also going to need a Rubik's Cube. But onto that, just pick a side and start tracing out your basic design. On the yellow edge, I decided to just write out Star Wars and then fill in the remainder with black. And don't worry if you make a mistake, just take some water or some nail polish remover, depending on what medium you're using, either the paint or the nail polish, dab it off and start again. So pretty simple to start off with, right? Okay, now we're gonna get into more of the detailed artistic portrait side. I'm using the thin paint pen first just to kind of sketch out my design. Now I'm going from light to dark, adding the highlights with white, filling in with black. And to add more depth to the picture, I went over with the nail polish to make some parts shiny because the art pens dry matte. Then for the white side, I decided to draw a Stormtrooper helmet. Well, why can I not talk? Stormtrooper! So again, I just started off with the black outline filled in with white just so it made a contrast against the white Rubik's Cube and covered up the logo. On to the blue side, I'm drawing R2-D2 now. So starting off with white, just draw the rough outline and fill in the massive shape of his head as well as a little amount of his body. I added black and light blue as contrast and just added the detailing in all his switches, gears, and knobs. It took me a little longer to decide what I wanted to do on the orange side, but I wanted Luke to be a part of this, so I ended up drawing him in his fighter pilot outfit. Starting off with white, I drew the basic shape of his helmet, then added the details in red and yellow. I outlined everything in black just so it would pop, especially the rebel symbol. I also added some sketchy black lines to act as shading. I also added the detail of his eyes and the profile of his face with the black paint pen. Sorry I didn't catch myself recording the Boba Fett helmet, but I pretty much went about it the same way as the others. I applied the nail polish top coat to all of the sides of the cube, switching back and forth between the shiny and the matte as desired to create contrast. Now you get to mix it up and solve it again. Oh, uh, and sorry, I cannot solve a Rubik's Cube. I actually gave this to Kevin for Valentine's Day, so he solved it, not me. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and favorite this video as well as to subscribe to my channel for any nerdy and cosplay tutorial videos. I will see you next Wednesday. Have a good night. Bye.